Hello, this is Tom from October CMS. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install October CMS for the first time. First, let's make sure my server meets the requirements. The requirements are described on the installation documentation page. You can use the php dash dash version command to find out your PHP version. and php-m to see the list of installed extensions. It looks like I have a compatible PHP version, and all required PHP extensions are installed. The MySQL server is also installed and running. Next, let's create a new October CMS account. It is needed as we must obtain a license to install the platform. I will use the pay-as-you-go plan for this tutorial because I need just one license. Note that you need the license only for installing the platform and getting access to the updates and the marketplace. You can legally run your website with an expired license. If you need to update your installation after your license expires, you can always extend it. October CMS licenses are issued for projects so I should now create a project. A separate project is required for each website or application you're building with October CMS. After creating the project, I can purchase a license. To purchase a license, go to the License tab and click Buy License. After the payment, the browser is redirected back to the project page, where I can copy the license key. The next step is installing the platform. I already have Apache Virtual Host configured for my target directory. I also created an empty MySQL database. The process is described in the documentation, so I'll just follow the directions. First, I run the Composer Create Project October slash October command. It creates a new directory with the name I provided and runs the Composer installation script. It can take some time. When it finishes, I can enter the project's directory and run the artisan october install command. That command configures the platform and asks me a series of questions such as what is the application URL, what is the database configuration, and so on. At the end of the process, it asks me to enter the license key. That is the key I copied on the project page. After pasting the license key, I hit Enter, and the installer downloads and installs the system modules. We're almost done with the installation. The last step is running the database migration that will initialize the database. I can do it from the command line, but it can also be done from the web interface. I can't wait to see the installed platform, so I navigate to the backend URL. The migration process starts automatically. When it finishes, I can finally create my user account and log into the system. Voila! October CMS is now installed, and I can start exploring the system and building my client's website. Thanks for watching.